Welcome to another episode of TAS Mathematics. Today we're going to be looking at the graded response. The graded response is where students input numerical answers. Now these answers can be a whole number, it can be a decimal, or it can be a fraction. If your answer is a fraction, it must be a proper fraction or an improper fraction. You cannot input a mixed fraction into the grid. So let's take a look at how we would input these three types of numbers within the grid. Now suppose you're on the task test and you work out your word problem and your answer is 367. How would you input that into the grid? Your first step is to write your answer in the first row. Now, you can either write your answer starting from the left or starting from the right. I'm going to start from the left. So I'm going to write my answer, which is 3, 6, 7. Since your answer is a whole number, you do not need the fraction bar, which is the second row, or the decimal point, which is the third row. So we're now going to shade our answer. So we're going to shade the 3. And make sure your shading is always clean. Don't want any errors. Our next number is the 6. And finally, the 7. This will be considered a correct input of the number 367. You can have these empty spaces at the back. That is fine. Your answer is correct. Suppose you did another problem on the test and your answer turned out to be $2,485. Now, one thing you have to know about the grid is that you cannot input symbols. So you cannot input the dollar sign. That cannot be inputted in the grid. Also, if your answer turns out to be negative, that cannot be inputted into the grid. So you know right away your answer is incorrect. Also, notice this comma right here. This cannot be inputted in the grid either. So you cannot put that comma. I know many of my students, some of them are French speaking or from Haiti or I had a couple of students from the Congo. And instead of a comma, they use a decimal point to represent the comma. Uh, please do not uh, shade in the decimal point for the comma. You would have changed the number. So you cannot input the comma into the grid. And the comma does not represent the decimal point for all my French learners. So we're going to enter 2,485. I'm going to enter this from the right to show you what it looks like. So here I'm going to write my answer into the first row. So there's my 5. Next, my 8 my four, and finally my two. Having this space at the front is fine. Your next step is to shade. So I'm gonna shade my two. Next, I'm going to shade my four, my eight, and finally the five. There's your answer, 2,485. And that's how you would input a whole number into the grid. Suppose your answer is a decimal. So suppose your answer is 4 and 25 hundredths, and you have to enter that into the grid. Now, I'm going to enter this in the middle. You can also enter in the middle. So I'm going to write my answer. Here's my 4. Here's my decimal point, there's my 2, and my 5. And next, I'm going to shade in my answer. So writing your answer into the first row helps with the shading. So it kind of guides you. So there's your 4. Then we need the decimal point. So then we'll shade here. Next, the 2. And finally, your five. And again, make sure you're shading clean. 
Finally, suppose your answer is a fraction. So if your answer is a proper fraction, we're going to input that. So again, you can start either at the left or the right or in the middle. I'm going to try to go for the middle. So again, write your answer in the first row. So my answer is a half. And again, writing really helps you. I do not have a clue why my students do not write their answer in the first row. They just go straight to shading. So always write into the first row that guides you. We need to shade the one. Next, we need to shade the fraction bar, which is right here. And finally, the two. And your answer is correct. It's a half. Again, you can have the space at the front or the space at the back. Your answer is correct. Suppose your answer is 9 over 5. Again, depends on how you feel. Most of the time when I teach, because I do teach task math for a living, it's my day job. I usually input from the left 9 slash 5. And I'm going to bubble the 9. Okay, again, make it clean. Then I'm going to bubble the fraction bar right here. And then finally, I'm going to bubble the 5. And there's your answer, 9 over 5. And that's an improper fraction. Again, you cannot input a mixed number. So suppose you did a problem and your answer turned out to be one and four fifths. You would have to convert that to an improper. So this cannot be placed in the grid. You cannot place a mixed fraction in the grid. It will be incorrect.